All right, today we are building the Yoda buildable figure, which was released in October 2019 and retired in November 2022, last year. It didn't sell too well, it seemed. It seemed like it went on sale pretty often. I actually got it for below $100. I want to say somewhere around the $70, $75 range. So pretty fair deal. It is the second buildable Yoda we've ever gotten. The other one was released way back in the early 2000s. Uh, so it was a little bit more simplified. And that one was based off of his episode five, episode six appearance. This one is clearly more of the version of him seen in the prequels, as you can see with the lightsaber. I haven't done many of these more like statue version sets. I did do the buildable R2-D2, which was really great and really well detailed. So I'm hoping for a positive building experience like from that one. So here we go. We're not going to try. We will build Yoda.
force will be with you. Always. And here we have the Yoda buildable figure. As you can see, I've swapped out his eyes for a more appealing look, even though the translucent pieces that are included aren't as jarring as they are in person as they look on the box, which kind of gives him a more evil, unhinged look. I think uh, these options give him a little bit more friendly, more lifelike look to him. There are a few other pieces you can swap out for like the solid black, or if you think the more square brickhead eye pieces work, there's fairly few options that you can do. Um, I went with these because, like I said, I think it gives them a more lifelike look and a less evil look. You also get a little plaque that comes with this Yoda minifigure. The plaque is nice, but again, it's a sticker, so thankfully they're going away with the stickers in the near future and we'll be doing print pieces. So that was nice. I'm glad they're finally doing that because I remember that was a big complaint I had with the R2-D2 set. At some point when I get the pieces, I'll probably swap out the lightsaber for a cane just because his appearance in Empire Strikes Back is more along my favorite than the prequels appearances. Not that I don't like the prequels, as you can see, I just am more partial to that version. Overall, I do like this figure. It was a fun build, a lot more detailed and more you had to pay attention to than what I was used to than, you know, the typical like building vehicle sets that are based around a minifigure build. I kind of do enjoy building these more sculpture sets, and I'd like to get more of them. Uh, the Grogu one didn't really appeal to me. Again, his eyes looked kind of lifeless. Um, but if they do any more of these, like the busts and the helmet ones are kind of fun and very more appealing to the more adult builder who doesn't necessarily need to do, you know, more lower detailed builds. Overall, I think it's a good value too. Even if I had paid the full $100, I think I would have been satisfied for all the pieces and the detail you get out of that. Uh, he doesn't go for much in the aftermarket right now either, so you shouldn't have to pay $100 for him. Maybe with shipping, but if you do local someplace, you might be able to get him. Like I said, he's out of stores right now, but there might be a few holdouts here and there and some more uh, backwoods, Walmarts kind of thing. So keep an eye out for him. If you find him, pick him up. He's a fun build. All right, so I am at this time still waiting on my McFarlane Dark Knight figures. So instead of doing those, I'm gonna be doing these McFarlane figures that have been kind of sitting in my closet for a while. They are the Dark Knight's Metal Figures multi-packs. They're not really available anymore, but I was kind of hoping they would do one with each of the evil Batman sets, but they never did. So I'm going to just go ahead and open up these instead of sitting them out much longer because um, they kind of take up a lot of room. So we'll be doing all four of these, or all three of these, as well as the Walmart exclusive Batman Who Laughs and Robin pack, which was also a hot seller and hard to find. So until then, stay safe. Happy hunting.